Hello, everyone. Um, I am André Almeida, and I work for the open source consultancy Galia. And I'm here today to talk about GPU resets. Uh, so I am a current developer. I'm working on the Steam Deck. And uh, the Steam Deck is like the source of, of this work. Um, so that might, ha might have happened to you. Um, you are playing your game on Linux, and then something wrong is sent to the device. And you, when you are playing something on Linux, there are many layers of translation and drivers. So it's very easy to, to, to get something wrong on the stack. And then the GPU hangs, and it's over for you. Uh, you just have a black screen, uh, and you need to reboot your machine. Uh, but in some cases, if you're lucky enough, uh, the system will recover itself. So uh, that happens because modern GPUs are really complex, like very, very complex. If you get the numbers from the last um, AMD GPU, there are like a lot of uh, parallel things happening, a lot of compute, compute units, transistors, and so. And shaders are truly complete. So that means that you can guarantee that uh, that code will uh, run, that will not like be looping forever, and so on. So yeah, it's very, GPUs are very complex nowadays. Uh, for instance, this is uh, the flow for, uh, this is just the display unit for uh, AMD GPU, and you can see that there are a lot of components here, just for the display part. And for instance, if you have an infinite loop on a normal CPU program, that's not so bad because we have some abstractions on the proce processor and then the memory, and you can just kill the app, you not uh, kill your uh, entire system. But if this happened on the GPU, uh, did that infinite loop can like hang the display engine and you won't be able to update the display again. So you really need to get there and kill the process and, or, and reset the GPU. So uh, now I'm going to show how we detect GPU resets from the hardware until it reached uh, it reached the application. So uh, basically, on DRM on, on the Linux kernel drivers, you submit jobs to the device, and then later you can check uh, if uh, your, your memory fences have been reached or if the timeout had had expired. And then the uh, the Linux kernel driver can do the reset if it finds out that oh this job is taking so long to be to run it might be stuck you can't even be sure of that but you you uh, you take that is is stuck and then you do some action on that so uh, the driver does a GPU reset and we have a lot of different reset types on the GPU we have like more soft ones that you, know, you only reset the engine that is stuck or you reset the full device, for instance. You have a, a, a range of that. And more complete resets are more destructive. So you can lose all the uh, virtual, um, all, all the VRAM of the, the GPU. You can lose everything that, that all the applications had built so far. But yeah, this is uh, how we do. So the driver checks what's going on and try to, to do the, the less destructive reset available. Okay, so now that the kernel knows that a reset happening, we need to tell uh, the user space mode driver that something wrong happened. And But DRM has no API for that. So if you look on the kernel side, you see that each vendor implements something different. Um, for Intel, for AMD, for Fedrino, uh, they have different I/O controls for doing that. But this is not really something hard specific because if you read the, the code of all those operations, they do some uh, stuff that is very similar but in different ways, and they are not very complete. So, uh, for instance, the AMD GPU has a, a version two, but uh, we might need the version. Two. Uh, three, but in the end, I would like to, to have a standard for that. Okay, so now we told Mesa that uh, something bad has uh, is going on, and now Mesa needs to report to the application. So uh, on the graphics API, we have uh, ways to tell that to the application. For instance, in Vulkan, we had the device lost error, 
And this device loss error uh, is kind of generic. It's not just about GPU reset. Uh, it can be about, for instance, hot plugging. Um, so if an uh, application gets a uh, device loss error, it should assume that the, uh, there's no device to rely on. So you need to recreate all the context. And for OpenGL, we have the, this extension uh, for robustness. And uh, so in the Mesa side, if the Mesa sees that the app hasn't implemented robustness, you need to just kill the app on the reset because it's assumed that the app uh, can't uh, recreate the context but because it can't check if the GPU was lost or not. So now the application got the message that uh, the GPU was reset or lost. It can recreate the context, and now you can uh, work again. And now every, uh, the user space graphics stack will work again. Uh, so, as I said before, uh, we don't have a standard API for talking to DRM to Mesa. That's something bad has happened on the on the GPU. And one thing that I'm trying to propose is to get uh, operation for that. For instance, DRM get reset state, something like that. So that, that way, if you want to implement a new uh, GPU driver on the Linux kernel, you just need to implement that. And on the Mesa side, we can probably get this on the common code, like in Gallium. So every time a GPU resets, uh, the kernel know what to say to the Mesa, and the Mesa knows what to expect from the kernel to make uh, both uh, the life of developers from Mesa and, and Kernel uh, easier. And also, I'm working on uh, documentation uh, in, the, in the Kernel to explain what the DRM drivers should do uh, when a reset happens and what the, the Mesa drivers should do as well. Uh, because as you can see, uh, for now, it's like ad hoc. Uh, everybody does uh, do that in a, in a different way. Uh, but would be way better if you get this standardized. So, um, as I said, each vendor reacts different to resets. Uh, as I work on the Steam Deck, my focus was on AMD GPU, and it was uh, very unreliable for some resets. Uh, it, the most basic re reset would get uh, the whole stack crashed, and you have just a black screen and no responsive. If you are lucky, you can uh, you can access remotely and, and figure out what happened. And Pierre Eric from AMD and I fixed that for um, KDE because Raiden SI, that's the Mesa driver for OpenGL, wasn't uh, following the spec for uh, OpenGL robustness. And so, and, and the fix was very, very easy. I think as well, like five lines of code in the end. So it's clear uh, that we need more testing for robustness, both on the Mesa and in the kernel. And one fun thing is that like all other operational systems like Windows, they are more reliable than that, but because they have a, a lot of control on the graphical stack, they have like one compositor, uh, they can, uh, they have APIs for that on the, on the user mode and the kernel side. So, uh, they have a lot of more control, and so it's more reliable. But if we can standardize, we can be as reliable as then. And another thing that we need to to fix on the GPU resets on Linux is that not only telling user space that their GPU reset has happened, but also tell user space what uh, in the first place triggered uh, that reset. Because right now, if you if your game crashes, you go on the on the GitLab and say, "Hey, my game crashed," and you attach like lines and lines and lines of of log, and people uh, and the developers need to uh, have have a lot of hard time figuring figure out of all of that lines what uh, uh, caused the hang in the first place. Uh, because you have a lot of information, but you have no context of what was uh, the GPU running at that time that crashed. So this is something uh, that I'm also uh, working on to try to make better. So GPU hangs have two main sources on AMD, 
it can be hard hardware settings. So if you change the voltage, the frequency of the GPU, if you do that uh, on a bad way, it, it can hang the GPU. And of course, application errors like infinite loops. And right now, there's no way to distinguish from one another. And you can see that this is really bad, you know, because if you submit a bug report for a game, it might not be the game itself that crashed it, but something else that uh, decided to change the frequency of the GPU and crash it. And so, and about this uh, reporting of GPU hangs, ideally it would be very nice to have um, some way to deploy that, that has no overhead, so we can like de deploy for all Steam Deck users and automatically, every time a uh, game crashes, we can get the context of what crashed the game and send this to the developers so they can figure out. Uh, one thing that I worked on uh, was a new um, AMD GPU inf operation that I called Qt app that you can capture data about um, what hanged uh, the GPU. I was like capturing the uh, address of the buffer that was running in the GPU at that time. And of course, this callback needs to be platform specific because I was reading some registers. But uh, it's not very reliable because once the GPU hangs, uh, you don't know what the firmware will do. Uh, we don't have a lot of control on that side. So the challenge of that is how to get the uh, right information correctly in a reliable way. Uh, how can we uh, put the GPU in like the bug, the bug mode? Uh, because right now, uh, you have uh, the bug mode for Mesa that will insert a lot of fences, a lot of barriers, a lot of S information that on one hand causes overhead to the game and on the other hand, uh, given that we uh, serialize the buffers in a different way, we can even remove the bug that we are trying to find out because now the application is running on a different way that was running uh, on the non-debug mode. So. Um, the debug mode that we have right now, we can't like deploy to all the users and it's not very, very um, really reliable. Um, so basically the roadmap to have better GPU resets on the Linux stack is to have a standardization of how DRM reports GPU hangs to the user space and and standardization of how user mode drivers deals with that and what the compositor should do uh, after reset. Uh, we also need better hang log to show, uh, to find somehow to show which buffer causes the hang. Because as I said before, uh, the GPU firmware can uh, have total control of the, um, the memory of the devices. So we're not sure, we cannot be sure of what's going on. Um, there we, we cannot rely on the on the registers and that also an API that called dev core dump on the Linux kernel that you can use to dump something when the model crashes uh, but it's not widely used right now but if uh, every uh, GPU vendor start using we can we can have a standard way uh, to have a text file to send to distros and developers and of course, we need tests, a lot of tests, tests on IGT, uh, tests on KUnit, all sort of tests to, to figure out from bottom to top if the G GPU reset is working. But of course, given that is a GPU reset, it's not so easy to, to test because the GPU can rank, and so it's not so easy to get this on a CI. Um, so yeah, that was it from my side. Here we have some links. If you if you download the, the presentation, you can see the work that we have been doing on that, um, both on the Linux kernel and the Mesa to, to make it more reliable. Uh, this is my, my email address and we are high at Igalia. And that's it from my side. Uh, do we have questions? Oh, the microphone is over there. The projector. <laughs> I think it's Oh, you need to. Hello. 
So I, I heard you were saying the, the GPU Han and the, um, playing video games. I assume it's like graphical computation, but I thought GPU is not, not just used for games anymore. Since like AI training uses GPU heavily, does your solution apply to those scenarios or? Yeah, sure. Uh, so the question was if uh, this work is not just about the games, but for other like compute uses of GPU. Right, right, right. Because yeah. I saw you were there was some DRM stuff in the yeah. in the context. I don't know if that's just specific to graphics or mm -hmm. it's like in general. No, no sure. it's not really specific for um, for graphics. Uh, any kind of uh, GPU work can hang the GPU, and this API that I'm like proposing uh, is generic. It's just to, just to tell user space that something bad has happened to the GPU. Um, as I said, I'm more familiar with uh, the game use, use case. I uh, don't know how common is for AI or compute uh, workloads to hang the GPU, but uh, it can happen as well. Uh, so yeah, this DRM interface is generic. So uh, you just need a user space to use that, to check that, and to do some action when it's get the message that the GPU was reset. And uh, given that Vulkan is also used for compute, uh, you can also, uh, I think this, even this, this error code makes sense on this scenario as well. So yes, I think it would be very similar for both games and compute workloads. All right, thank you. Uh, can you? Um, are you suggesting that, I mean, now, like today, are you able to detect it and then recover? Or are you just saying there's a problem and you're trying to find a solution for it? Um, we can detect it and we can, right, right now, uh, we can recover in the most of cases from the GPU hang. Yeah, you just need to tell user space that something wrong has happened and the applications rec recreate all the context and start work again. Uh, so this is, this part of the work is is um, is working is is good right now. I just want to have a standard API for that. But the part that is not working right now is how to tell uh, user space what hanged the GPU. You know, to tell this was the buffer that was I was trying to use. This was the offset. This was the instruction that I was the GPU was running, and then it it hang it. Uh, so yeah, this is the current challenge that I'm um, attacking right now. So in, in the best case, when you recover, you're still not going to be able to hide it from the user. They're still going to notice something happens on the screen. Yes. Uh, right now, if you if you, you your GPU hangs, the screen will, will freeze, mm -hmm. and then a timeout will happen. And so this depends on the on the, your setup. But usually, usually is led less than 30 seconds, I think. It's all frozen. And then boom, everything he creates. And then you, you get back uh, whatever you are using. But the Guild application uh, probably will, won't be there anymore. We'll be killed. Cool. Thank you. OK, I think that's it. Thank you very much.